Hello, I'm Emma Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Life and the author of Burns, Falls and Emergency Calls. Today, I'm going to talk to you about burns. Uh, it's National Burns Day and it's a good opportunity for us to just focus in on common causes for burns and also on prevention and just quick basic treatment. So common causes, things like kettles, hot drinks, um, a, hot, a cup of tea, even if it's been waiting for 10 minutes, can still be hot enough to burn um, a child or an elderly person. So just make sure you're never passing cups of tea over someone's head, you're um, never uh, leaving them within reach, and you're just aware. Curling tongs, um, things like button batteries, they will burn if somebody um, eats them as well. So uh, um, a button battery will actually, um, even, even a dead battery will um, have some charge remaining in it and can cause, cause damage um, to children. So to keep all those sort of things out of reach, same with chemicals as well. Never be tempted to decant chemicals. And we've all got lots of that sort of information. There's loads more on our, on our website as well about tips to keep um, everyone safe and prevent burns, particularly as well with uh, um, fireworks around. Be really careful. Okay, so what to do if you are burnt? Cool running water. Do you take clothes off or leave them on? If there's any risk that the clothes have stuck, then leave them in place and cool running water over the area. But if you can remove the clothes and they haven't stuck, you're better to remove them because you can cool the area more effectively if there aren't clothes on top. Cool, 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 cool. Running water, if you possibly can, because um, running water will keep cooling it. Whereas if you immerse it into um, a bowl or something, then that will actually get warmer as, as you leave your, your hand in there. Okay, so, so, lee, um, so cool running water, uh, remove anything that is tight or will get tighter as the burn swells. So remove any jewelry or anything that will constrict. Cool running water, cool, cool, cool and cool. Time it because you're unlikely to leave it under the cool running water for long enough unless you time it at least 10 minutes. Think of a joint of meat, you've taken it out of the oven to rest it, it's still cool, or it's or rather it's still hot, and it takes proper cooling under cool running water to cool it. We are meat, we will be cooking. So cool it effectively. Cool, 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 cool. If the burn um, is on a child and it's bigger than a 50p piece, then it's quite a serious, serious burn if it's blistered and, and uh, the skin's broken in any way. So um, get a medical professional to, to look at it. Keep it under cool running water um, so that you are cooling it properly. Cool it for at least 10 minutes, ideally for 15. Keep the person warm um, because, and watch for signs of shock. Um, shock is made worse when somebody is cold, when they are frightened, and when they're in pain. So with burns, it's quite possible that they may go into, into shock. Um, so look out for that and make sure that you are calling the burn but not the casualty. So keep them as warm and dry as you possibly can. So cool running water. If you want to dress it, then um, once it is cooled effectively and properly and completely, so at, at least 20 minutes if you're going to dress it yourself, um, then you can put it into, if it's a hand, you could put it into a, a sterile plastic bag. And once you've covered the nerve endings, it will be less painful and it will also prevent um, infection or it should make infection less likely. Um, cling film, if you take a couple of layers off the outside, then you're getting to a more sterile part of cling film. You apply it loosely over the um, affected area because if you were to wrap it tightly, it will constrict as the burn swells. So apply it um, loosely and always get a burn scene. Never be tempted to touch a burn, prod it, never break blisters, wear sterile gloves if you can. Burns get infected very, very easily. If you've got some burn gel, um, so proper burn gel type stuff, um, you can put that on after you have cooled the burn effectively. It's quite gloopy. Um, it's, 
in that sort of stuff, you know, if you buy uh, a TV or something, it's the thing that covers the screen. It's that sort of material that it's on with gloopy gel. So be aware, it will come out messy. <laughs> so wear gloves if you can. Um, gloopy gel, pour it over the, the area. Carefully bring out the dressing bit, put that over and pour the rest of it on top as well and have a dressing ready, a sterile dressing, to loosely wrap round to stop all that gloopiness getting everywhere. And that will keep cooling the burn and it will mean that it, it will um, continue to cool it, it will help it so that when we um, see it in, in hospital, um, it will be an easier burn for us to look at and to treat. So please don't put any other creams, gels, potions, anything that anybody has ever told you is a good idea to put in, on burns, it probably isn't. The only exception is for sunburn, um, then a neat aloe vera or as concentrate aloe vera as you can get can work very well after someone's been in a tepid shower. And uh, always get um, seen by a health professional if there's a, a danger of um, heat stroke. Um, or heat exhaustion. So um, I hope that's been useful. That's Emma Hammett, First Day for Life and onlinefirstaid.com.